Welcome back to another edition of Evening Shorts right here at the ranch here. Smoking what passes for a lucky strike until payday. Sorting out the world's problems before I've had my coffee. Well, it's been another morning of it. I overslept because uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and just couldn't go back to sleep. And of course, every hour on the hour, every 15 minutes on the minute, that clock... Ding a 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 fucking I would love to blow that thing apart with my hand cannon. Apologies, morning mucus. And then of course the screwy senior wants up and so Come 8 o'clock every fucking morning, I have to have everything up and ready and her fed and her cocoa and make sure she takes her fucking pills. Even though she's been doing this shit for like 30 fucking years, she should know by now, but whatever. I digress. <sighs> then I found out what day today is. Today is the day my niece is finally getting wedding. Okay. She's going to the wedding, she's going to marry the cop, and maybe all the goddamn women will calm the fuck down. Because for months on end, every three o'clock phone hosing, if it's not directly about money, or them getting up my case, <coughs> it's them talking about this goddamn wedding. Right? That's all they want to talk about. You know, this dress was close to $13,000, and... Like, the party itself was probably about that. And in addition to that, you know, <clears throat> they probably raked in 25 grand in fucking gifts. Which I don't hold anything against them, man. You know, in that regard. But where I take offense is being forced to participate in the activity. They want this, they want that, they want me to fucking wheel mom out to the car in the wheelchair, or whatever. Okay, fine. You know, good riddance. So I can have my chair and actually watch the TV for a change. But all of this fuss and the hassle over such a fucking insignificant activity. Like, these two have probably already slept together. They probably already lived together. You know, they probably tried anal, and she wasn't exactly uh, doing the uh, assume the position, if you catch what I'm saying. He's probably uh, a peg that way. She's maybe five foot three, and she fucking, you know, bosses his six foot four ass around like fucking, you know, a drill sergeant. And so this shit's comical to watch for me as a spectator sport. And of course, I'm going to have to put up with my piggy-ass sister later. Because she's coming by to get mom. Because I'm not going to this fucking party. I refuse. And of course, if it involves driving after dark, mom won't do it. So, my sister's on the hook to give her a ride. So it's going to be a full day of bullshit and bushwhack and phone hosing and forced participation and stupid questions and screwy seniors and fucking every other goddamned activity I really don't want to participate in. But the good news is, I get the house to myself. All day. After like 2 o'clock until like 7 o'clock, I get to sit on my butthole in my favorite chair and watch actual TV. Not just sit at the computer desk, but because that's where my fucking chair is, so. And of course, no, I never get to pick anything I want to watch on the TV out. That's mom, because mom wants TV. She'll watch the dumbest fucking game shows ever made, but you know how it goes. This has been another edition of uh, Complaining in Saturday's Shorts. Uh, they're still Friday's Shorts, but eventually I will get a clean pair out and go hop in the shower. But what are you going to fucking do? So, as always, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful Saturday, and don't we meet again, eat the shorts.